as you saw from the bit of a build montage, uh, I did try my best this time to do as good as possible. As you can see from the finished build, it looks absolutely stunning. I love the ARGB, but then again, I'm an ARGB snob, as usual. Now, it does have Type-C, it has USB 3, it has a headphone jack at the front. Also, the it has an included ARGB controller. Uh, it does have support for 360 rad at the front as well as the top. The top part is removable, so you could essentially install it. It lifts up like a hood. The side panel by here is tempered glass. It is really nice. I do like the look of it. Now, you undo the thumb screw, and all you do is this. It clips out, and then you just pull it up, and done. So this is a like metal frame temper glass, so you won't have to worry essentially of it smashing. <laughs> As you can see by here, it's got 360 support at the top, the front. It does have a uh, drive bay down below, so it supports for basic three and a half inch drive, like a hard drive, and it has support for three SSD mounts because it has one on top of the drive bay. On the drive case by here and then it has two mounts at the back it has these rubber grommets by here which does look really nice and clean i will say the cooler master this case looks really nice i i'm landed they sent me the white version because i like white cases my personal case is the corsair 5000d that's in white so i love white it's got loads of different colors i mean you know it's breathing and everything but me i'm a rgb snob but from the finished build, as you can see, it looks gorgeous. I think it looks really nice. I do wish that I had a 240mm uh, AIO white version to put in here. Because I think the white version would have set it off a bit better. But then again, majority of the parts, like the motherboard and stuff, are black. So it kind of does it okay. Uh, it has support for really long power supply cables. But... That's only if you take out the drive bay cage, so it means you'll be losing a bit of storage. But, I mean, you know, that's up to you, really. Uh, ATX port, micro ATX support. This is a very nice looking case. It does have uh, rubber feet at the bottom. It supports 120 at the, on the back. Really nice case for the price. I mean, it's 98 quid. I mean, it's not bad at all. It's up there with the 500 DX flow. Uh, DX, so it's not so bad at all. Now, as for thermals, it does generate quite a bit of uh, air. The, the front fans, they do push a lot of air. The highest I had the temperature as while I was doing testing was 65 Celsius. If you do like this case, it's really nice. And if you want to buy it, then I'll leave you a link. But there's one problem with this case, is the back panel. And I will show you what I mean. Now majority of modern day cases have space at the back but as you can see sorry about the cable management <laughs> yeah i just trying my best but as you can see there's not a lot of room now when it comes to the side panel by here that's pretty much it that's all the room you get the side part the back panel is quite flimsy but then again, it's £98. What do you expect? The ARGB controller, I do wish it was 4-pin PWM. Other than that, what I'll say is it's a very nice case. I like the white. I've always liked white cases. My, as I said, my personal case is white. I do like this little nifty feature up the top where you can just take it off. And that I will show. Now all it is is two screws, two little screws like this. So all you need is a Phillips. So and that's done. Now it lifts up like a hood. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's awesome. It just gives you more support for 360 or installing your, and it clips in. <laughs> So yeah guys, look, if you want to buy it, I do recommend it. It's a nice case for the price as well as you get a lot of ARGB. As you know, ARGB snobby, I'm proud of it. So yeah, look, I'll leave a link down in the description. This is Rich for Welsh. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.